Tonight, before you go to bed, make an inspection tour of your ice box. How's that Pabst Blue Ribbon Supply holding out? Tomorrow morning when your dealer says, What did you have? Say, Pabst Blue Ribbon. What else? <laughs> Tummy hort. <laughs> Are we going? Are we rolling? Yeah, it's been rolling for 15 seconds now. Oh, Jesus what? Christ. Hello, everyone, and welcome to the Hello Horn Podcast. I'm your host, Alex Luby, and I'm joined, as always, by the horniest of homies, Sales Seven Seas, J. Anthony Luby, petting a dog over there, sleeping dog, and uh, Luke Fartsworth. I almost called Luke Finn. <laughs> <laughs> we got Anthony, a sleeping dog, and Finn. <laughs> Finn Farnsworth. <laughs> so we have uh, Anthony petting Luke and Finn over in Virginia. Just reminds me of that time Jay called me Neil, and then we named the stuffed animal Neil because he said, and I quote, Neil sounded more hyped to shout than Luke. And I think <laughs> about that from time to time. I think about that from time to time. He literally said my name's boring to shout, so he said Neil. <laughs> Neil was more Neil. exciting to him. Than, than Luke. Luke. And oh boy, does that make me feel good about myself. <laughs> Neil could be one of the most boring names I've ever heard. Right. That's why <laughs> yeah, I was like. Neil is very um. And so you go that and he said it was more exciting than Luke. How do you think that makes me feel? Oh. Sorry, right, way too much. Jay. Like it's not even a name, it's just a letter. Yeah. Yeah, J. Yeah. <laughs> go, Jay. <laughs> go. Oh, I had so much food prior. I had more. I had the two shrimp tacos, and then I ate a big ass fucking dish of macaroni and cheese I bought from the gym. Protein mac whole, and cheese. A whole plate of spabet. Spaghetti. I had uh, spabet. I had three pieces of fimsh with some hush puppies and some rice pilaf, and then a half crumble cookie. <clears throat> a half? Why just a half? Why not a full? Because I ate the other half with Amanda last night. Okay. Okay. I didn't just go to crumble on my way home. I don't I don't I don't do that. No, I'm just like curious as to why you wouldn't just eat the whole cookie right then and there. Like why didn't you <laughs> you, you were last probably night? Hope, you were probably hoping the other half was right here. <laughs> I was I was like, bro, damn, that sounds good. Wait, I don't think any it... human <clears throat> would be like is the other half there? Not I brought home half a fucking cookie. Is is the other half really up there with you? <laughs> Anthony would have left to come get it. Yeah, I would have. Yeah, I would that... have given it to you too, man. I'm I'm not hungry at all. I'm pretty stuffed. Stuffed to the brim. Well, it's good to know that the boys are very full. <laughs> yeah. They've eaten good meals. And... Wow. Yeah, they're all. Some hearty wow. food. We're well We're... fed. We are exciting. Well fed. Ready to talk some animation. Ready to get into it. Oh. Yeah, we do that from time to time. Yeah, we do. But first, I have to ask, did anybody do anything fun this week? I, I went, yeah. Yeah, I did. <laughs> no, I, I would, I would, I would, I would, yeah. <clears throat> I went out and went to beer school Friday. My uncle, he's well, that was cool, a yeah. beer aficionado. He likes to partake in beers and learn about them. And I had a lot of beers. I felt like it was so shitty. Then I, I felt awful the next morning. I felt pretty fine. I felt horrible. It went away fairly quickly, but like I was putting my shoe on and then I put my head up and just this pounding headache in the back of my head. And oh my God. I will say I'm not a fan of Mexican beers. You don't like Modelo's? No. I don't like Modelo, Tosaki. I got this one, this one Mexican beer. Not that good. It was like fucking spicy. What? It did have like some a spice it, to it. It was very yeah. Odd. It had like a weird spice to it, and it just wasn't good. I think the only Mexican beer that I could drink is like a Corona, and that's not even like real Mexican beer. That's just like you know, like the the sissy kind of beer people drink because they don't want actual beer. Like Bud Light. Well, that, okay, that's sissy beer. Like actually sissy beer. Yeah, it was not not a very enjoyable beverage. And I got the 16-ounce little mug of it, and I was like, wow, I wish I did not get this. That was not yummy. 
that's the, the other ones we had difficult thing with like craft beers is like you find some good ones and then a lot of them fucking suck that's what i like about flights because they give you baby like servings so you don't have to commit to like a full beverage and you get a variety of things that you can enjoy or possibly and even if you don't enjoy it someone else at the table might be like hey do you want the rest of this like piss baby cup of beer so that flights are like the best thing to happen to beer in the whole world. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, I had something <laughs> crazy happen to me too. I was, <laughs> like, was the pause for you? It kind of freaked me out. I was sleeping and uh, I fell asleep at like 1140 ish kind this of. Like what, Thursday night? E yes, this was Thursday night. And like, I'm like in bed, you know, I'm tuckered out and I fall asleep. And then I abruptly awoken at some point in the middle of the night. I think it was like 12, 1230 ish. And I was asleep at this point um, to a fucking crash and a, a very sharp pain on my head. And I'm like, what the fuck? And it really hurt. So I, I like, I like move my head around. I'm like, what, what the fuck happened? And I look to my right. And my fucking katana that I have mounted up, like almost to my ceiling came down randomly and smacked me in the fucking noggin. I don't know how it fell. Because my, my, Anthony asked, like, okay, maybe you like hit the wall with your hand. Because like, that's, that's possible. My hands when I woke up were like down below. So like, I don't think my hands hit the wall. I think it just fucking fell. It could have been the squirrels. It, it could have been those bastards. Fucking running around in the rafters. Fucking sons of bitches. It hurt, though. It, like, really hurt. It was like the... So, like, uh, it had the sheath on it. And the tip is, like, metal. It has, like, that metal piece on it. That's what hit me, right? Like, on the fucking side of the head here. And I'm like, uh... uh. <laughs> I was like, what happened? I'd be so pissed off, dude. I'd be so angry. I'd be so fucking mad. <laughs> it's so fucking funny. <laughs> I don't know how it happened. Like the the three, so I have three nails holding it up. They're still in the wall. None of them are bent down, like they fell or anything. They're all slightly angled up. I'm like, what? Like, I, how did just, that even happen? The idea of Alex just sitting there hanging out, and then all of a sudden he's like, <laughs> oh god. <laughs> He like just starts moaning a little too excessively in his sleep, <laughs> unlike usual, and it's like, whoa, unlike <laughs> usual. <laughs> like, what happened, dude? It's just like, oh! Yeah, that hurts. So it's like behind me. Oh, you can't even see. No. Like right. Yeah. There, there it is. is. There it is. Yeah, that motherfucker. Also, the blade is rusty. <clears throat> so I might as well throw it away. Why? Uh, yeah. It's not like you're going to use it. Yeah, but still. Like, what if I want to display it? Just how rusty is it? It's probably just some surface rust. You can probably clean it off. Yeah, but the Yo, funny whoa. thing about that surface rust, Anthony, you probably know... <laughs> I had a buddy piss in the sheath without telling me. You know, I, I was going to ask, how did they get rust on it? But that That's tracks. How. That tracks. That... Yeah. It sound like a good friend if they pissed in your sword sheath. Yeah, they did do that. They, they, they did do that. So I don't know what I want to do with it yet. I don't know if I want to keep it. Just get a new one. Yeah, I could, but like... They're not that expensive, I don't think. No, you can pick them up at the fucking mall. Yeah. Mall oh. Katana. Mall Katana. Yeah, that one was a gift. Geo? <clears throat> yeah, it's like Geo uh, or something. NYE or something, too. No, not Whatever it is. They don't what know is it? Katanas. That's like a a culture store, kind of, with like oh, yeah. music and game stuff and plushies. And stuff FYE, like that. they got Rick and Morty. I guarantee Rick and they Morty. have Rick and Morty. Got bricked up and Morty. Yeah, so that hurt, and I woke up with a headache, a knot on my head, and it just hurt. It was not a great time. Not a great time for old Tippy. The only thing that could really hurt me in my sleep is the my Sakurajima frame, probably. That, that wouldn't feel great. That would hurt pretty fucking well, I, bad. That would hurt, and then uh, the disc plate, because mine used to fall off a oh, lot. yeah. Mine's never. Mine's on there, good as fuck. It's not moving. I thought mm -hmm. mine was. I mean, I have mine over on this wall now. You probably didn't clean the wall enough. 
I probably didn't. You did that with your PC too when you put the vinyl yeah, on it. Yeah, I remember that. You reached out to Neon Elements <laughs> and like, you just hey, had I to call yourself up. a fucking idiot. Oh, yeah. <laughs> You're like, hey, yeah. I'm a fucking idiot. Can I have a new one? And he <laughs> sent you a new one. Yeah. Oh, um, the uh, the Delta decal got shipped out, so it should be here, I think, tomorrow or Tuesday. What size is that pre ordering? 20, 20 inches. Is it going to fit tall? your back window? Because, like, yeah, it will. It's very small. Yeah, I did the measurements. It'll be close, but it'll fit. I R wanted to get the biggest possible the one. Yeah, he I did, did the math. math. R slash they did the math. I need to get a new, a new vinyl decal for the back of my car. Like my soccer G1 I'm, is kind of, it's running on its last leg. Yeah, I'm so excited to get it. It's fucking Delta. It's epic. So I'm really excited for that one. I need to get like all new stickers. I need a whole bunch of new ones. So I think next con we go to. I want to like really stock up, and then if anybody comes out with cool ones, but like, I the don't know. We'll like see. most of the smaller cons we go to, there's like one one sticker vendor. Mm -hmm. There's not like a lot. Yeah, no. I think like Otakurama was really one of the only ones at Superstar. We had a couple, but that's it. Yeah. So we'll see. I got a lot of work to do on that that old beast. That's not a little beast. That's a 2018. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> it's, oh, old. my old car with less than 100,000 oh, miles oh, on oh. it. Oh. <laughs> She's really on her last legs. I got to fix her up. What, how many does that have? 71,000. Okay, I was going to say mine. I thought mine was triple. It's almost. If you had 60, it would be mine would be triple that, but... I'm basically at 100,000, pretty much. You said you're at 70,000. You're basically at... That, the math doesn't add up there, Chief. Well, to I yours. Mean, uh, basically at 100,000. Like 181,000 miles a month. Yeah. Baby. I wanted to get 200,000 out of the, my Mustang. I wanted so bad to get 200,000. I'm determined. What That's impressive. At? I'm at 170. It, it would have been really impressive. It's impressive but, uh, that you're at 170. She's trucking, like, no problems, other than the heat's kind of not working right See, now. It, oh, well, no, 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 take it back, take it back, take it back, take what you just said right the fuck <laughs> back. I shit you not, that is what I said. I'm like, yeah, take, no problems, right man. <laughs> then everything went to fucking shit. No, nah, she'll be all right. Like, it's because you said that. You're not supposed right. to yeah, say yeah. that ever. Yeah. No. Like, like, overnight, everything just went so downhill so fast. You, also, you were, like, low-key negligent with that car. No, right. not at all. Oh, the inside looked like it was a fucking dumpster most of the time. The inside only had like six Gatorade bottles, and that was it. No, it's, I think I bitched at That's... you real hard one time on the podcast. I was like, your trunk looks like a The trunk dump. was, but I, I opened the trunk like once a month. Like, you don't, you, don't, you don't get a Mustang for the trunk. No, but like, what the fuck are you keeping all that shit in there for? I had tools. I had an axe. Like, like a, why? what do you need an axe for? It's just a, a weapon. You I never know it. when you see good lumber. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good looking tree over there. Holy shit. I better oh, go shit, get that? it. So I'm going to shit. Bruce. <laughs> I'm going to shit my ass if I don't get some of that right now. Sure, I, yeah, I can't probably just store it in the Mustang, but I can sure as hell chop it down. <laughs> I can just chop it down. He just goes around chopping trees down. There's nothing to do with the wood. No, you just leave it there. <laughs> <laughs> cuts down a tree, perfectly logs and splits it, and then just leaves it on the side of the road. Boss, you struck again. Who? Can't cheat tree chopper. He just chops trees down. <laughs> Make him stop. <laughs> Make him stop. I had an oak in my yard that was on its last legs, and he chopped it down, perfectly split it, and left it there. This is my grandfather's tree. Wood. He, he planted this maple when he was six in 1927. That's a good job. Now it's gone. <laughs> it's because he decided to cut it down and not use it. Yeah, you could build something. Out of <laughs> You'd be kind of like the shittiest person alive, no, just cutting just down chopping trees. family trees, just to do it. <laughs> you know, um, uh, Times Square, I think it is, or somewhere in New York. They every year they locate a tree to be the christmas tree somewhere in the country mm -hmm. that'd be funny if um if like i found out what it was when they announced it and then i go chop the tree down so they can't use it <laughs> you cut it first so there's nothing they can do yeah, about the it. tree they chose 
for um, Christmas last year, 2023, was in just someone's yard. That's how they find them. Yeah, it they was are. just, it was like, that's a good looking tree. We're going to take your tree. And what if the homeowner's yeah, like, they, uh, no? They're like, well, sorry. Well, I think shit. they pay them pretty No, I don't, I don't think they get paid. What? No, they I, have I, to. I, I look it up. I don't think they get paid. It was kind of big news I, when they were transporting that big ass tree. I couldn't imagine them uh, going, can we have your tree? We're not giving you any money for it. Fuck yourself. Tree? I think the, it's just like, out of the <laughs> kindness of their heart, they donate the tree. The kindness of my wallet, they're going to pay me for my fucking tree. <laughs> or when they come to pick it up, too. it's going to be missing half its branches. Fuck them. Finding. What are you um, doing? It's the Rockefeller yeah, the Center Rockefeller Christmas tree. tree. Yeah. Yeah. Um, How do they select a centerpiece? God, it's Fox News. I don't want that. Uh, oh, it, it had the tree. It's Fox um, News. The well, they don't go liberal. to a the liberal, liberal tree. tree. So, so in 2023, this, the, that year's tree came from Vestal, New York. Um, typically, the timeline is that all year, almost every day, I'm thinking about this year's next tree. Next year's tree, and maybe the tree after that. Paul said with an interview with the magazine. God, your life will suck. Uh, he found the tree by accident. I found the tree in Vestal, New York, when I was on my way to look at another tree not too far away. This dude is fucking obsessed with trees. <laughs> He's like, the if you tree, want tree guy. He is the tree hugger. Tree guy right there. I've, Big I've tree driven guy. to the other other tree and took a slow road back and saw this one. I went back this spring and decided to knock. He said they were instantly, and instantly uh, that the Vestal tree was bound for New York City. Um, uh, I'm just going to look up, do they pay... Imagine <laughs> being the fucking tree guy. That's my job title is tree guy. Yeah, <laughs> I have to go find a fucking tree. Fucking job. You think he gets paid a lot of money to just find a fucking tree? He probably gets paid so much just to look for the fucking tree. Hey, go find us a stupid fucking tree for Christmas. You have a whole year. year to find the goddamn tree. You have 365 days to find us a fucking tree. Yeah, Thorpe, you're right. The Christmas tree at Rockefeller Plaza is donated every year. The owners of the giant trees that decorate the Rockefeller Plaza do not accept money for them. Instead, they donate the trees and take pride in knowing that locals and visitors that's, who come to see the tree... That's my tree. That is the most fucking loser shit. Not chasing the bag ass no. bullshit I've ever heard. Yeah, that's some shit, dude. If, if Rockefellers came knocking on my door, I'd be like, all right. Give me a fucking milli for the tree. You're Rockefellers. You can afford it. You're Rockefeller. I don't give a fuck yeah. about stretching money out of billionaires. Fuck them. Yeah, I don't take pride in but knowing my trees in New York. Tree. It's dead I, at that point. I yeah. take pride in knowing my trees in my fucking yard. It's, a, like, if it's such a nice tree. I'd rather display it in my home. Yeah. If it's it such fit, a nice tree, why don't you marry it, huh, Rockefeller? How about <laughs> that? I'm sure the dude whose job it is to trees would probably do it. He's like, damn, I could stick my dick in that. That's a good looking tree. That, I wonder that if that thing would sit on my ass. <laughs> Sexy tree. What if I just sat on the tree? Yep, that's a quality tree. Hey, I need to <laughs> test your tree. Do you have a crane so I can get on top? The tree tester. You think he goes over and like licks the bark a little bit to it, make sure it's healthy? He like, probably like pulls a piece off, nibbles on it, goes, mm, yeah, that's that's dense. Yeah, that's good. Oh, oh, it tastes a little oh. bit of a, a little pollution in there. It seems like 1930s. It's near a coal mine or some fucking weirdo. Uh, tastes like a termite <laughs> infection. <laughs> <laughs> yep, termites have hit this one, haven't they? Sorry, can't take it anymore. Can't You're not allowed it. to donate anymore. I still want the tree, just to, so you don't have it. That would piss me off so goddamn bad if some loser came up, was like, you have a nice looking tree, let me have it. And I said, all right, pay me. He's like, no, you you can donate <laughs> it. And you're like... Okay, leave. Get off my property? Yeah, I can't believe that. I'd be pretty fucking pissed if the Rockefellers came knocking and didn't give me money for a goddamn Those tree. Those people are probably so proud. Like, that's my tree, damn it. That's my tree in Rockefeller. I totally Plaza. didn't get scammed. I didn't get scammed. Yeah. They didn't run me for my tree. <laughs> Yeah, does anybody remember the 2007 Rockefeller tree? No. Wasn't it, like, really a, shit? I don't give a fuck about the Rockefeller no, trees. No, that's the thing. No one remembers them after the year. No one No one remembers them during the year. Who gives yeah. a fuck? 
I wonder where this tree came from. <laughs> oh, oh, dude, Rockefeller posted pictures of the fucking tree. Said no one ever. <laughs> fucking. <laughs> Vestal, New York. This guy's wow, probably I'm gonna so go excited. There. He's like, I'm the tree guy. Everyone thinks my job is so important. Everyone's so excited when the tree goes up in Rockefeller. It's like, yeah, maybe everyone in fucking New York is. Not a single person outside of there is like, oh, I wonder if the Rockefeller tree's up now. Oh, <laughs> honey, oh, honey, oh, get on Google. <laughs> honey, honey, go get this now. Go get this. People drive from like Alabama to go see the tree. Honey, we're going to be late for the tree. <laughs> Don't you want to see it? Come on, it's from New York this now, year. Now, honey, we got to go see the tree this year. <laughs> Come on, family. Home grown. Come, Come on. on. This is an American Christian Christmas, and we got to go see the Christmas tree outside of Rockefeller. Come on, I bought us all Those... JetBlue tickets to fly to New York to go see a fucking tree. <laughs> Those men built the country. <laughs> Those honest working white folk built the country. We gotta go see their tree. <laughs> also, this is totally random. Like, it has nothing to do with trees. But it has to do with a boat. Uh, you know there's like a, an abandoned big fucking yacht from like 1901 in the Ohio River? No. That you can go on? Hold on. It's just all rusty and shit. It's just in the river. It's just in the river. Uh, yeah. Where at? Uh, I didn't get that far into the uh, video. Ohio. I know he said it in the beginning, but I probably wasn't paying attention. Is yeah, it, is a it big ship boat. Cincinnati from Edison to McDonough. Let's take a peek at this. Is it it's in pretty, like deep racist it, Ohio or is it in real Ohio? <laughs> it looks like... I don't know, but I know you can get on it. Boy, there's like there's a, a fucking video, but I don't care about the video. Yeah, I watched we, we I could, watched some of the video. We could probably just sneak on it. Haunts the banks of the Ohio River. It was built in like 1901 by this really rich guy, and he wanted a yacht, and then it was like repurposed like 20 times. Big boat. It was just it looks chilling. Big. Is yeah, it, it's um, it's it's got like a tinge of blue to it, real rusty. Yeah, yeah, it's it's a pretty big fucking boat to be in a river. And like the river is not that big either. It's not like the fucking Ohio oh, no, River. It is. Uh, it looks like a fucking canal, way low key. Yeah, it's pretty small. We, yeah, we, might, just... we might want to go to Cincinnati, dude. Yeah, it looks I know that's I what I'm saying. Wanna... I saw that and I'm like, I no, I see found... that. I found something different that's even cooler. Is there another? Oh, boat? what? An abandoned subway. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I've heard about that. What? Yeah. yeah. These images look sick as fuck. Dude, it looks so goddamn cool. Whoa. It's the Cincinnati abandoned subway. Dude, it looks cool as shit. <laughs> I'm not even going to lie. That looks eerie as fuck. It's derelict as hell. Yeah, that's fucking sick. Dude, day trip to Cincinnati? Cincinnati sucks. Straight up, honestly. I mean, Cincinnati fucking sucks, but like, at least there's yeah. cool shit in it. They have an aquarium. Well, I think it's in <laughs> technically in Kentucky, but it's just across the Ohio River. Cincinnati just is Kentucky. Like, I don't... Cincinnati might as well be Kentucky. Kentucky thinks that they... People in Kentucky think they live in Cincinnati when they live across the Where fucking river. Oh, Cincinnati. Is it, is it blocked by now? It looks like... Can you still visit tours? It's I, nearly I impossible. Over the years, the city has done a magnificent job of obliterating almost any above-ground vestiges, save for the handful of innocuous grates embedded in the sidewalk along Central Parkway. The station no. portals were bulldozed, tunnels bricked up. <laughs> That's so... <laughs> the tunnels were bricked up, dude. It looks like there might be Damn. tours of it. You can like pay for a tour. I would pay yeah. for a tour to go in. They got some freaky ass tunnels. I'm hell yeah, I'm in. Yeah, I would totally like, totally do that. <laughs> I just gotta. This is again totally fucking random. You know, I'm friends with someone on Steam from work, yeah. and like you know when friends play games, it pops up what they're playing. Yeah. Yeah. Playing Weed Shop Three. <laughs> weed Shop Three. They made a <laughs> third one. They made Weed Shop. They made three of them. Weed Shop. Steam game. What the fuck is that? We Shop 3, a recreational marijuana dispensary simulator. What the fuck? You just run a marijuana dispensary. Isn't that isn't that fun? <laughs> that sure that, sounds that, wild. That sounds horribly, terribly <laughs> boring. 
You're well, right. Uh, it does sound it's... terribly boring. <laughs> I almost spit my fucking milk out when you said that was funny. Hey, do you want a sativa or an indica? What's the I difference? I don't want either. <laughs> uh, I don't know. How about... Just, how about some gummy bears laced with... <laughs> Ash. <laughs> Dude, you guys you guys want to play Weed Shop Simulator together? And everyone's like, fucking no. Whoa. That sounds like fucking hell on earth. That sounds oh, so I have I have one now. Something that has nothing to do with anything. I was playing the finals with Devin the other day. Huh. And uh by the way, very against, fun game. We should play that we, pretty soon. We played against this guy and his name was Pickle Down Rickonomic. <laughs> <laughs> Pickle Down Rickonomics. And he killed me once, and I got so pissed, I sweat on his ass for the rest of the game because I was so mad. Pickled down Rickonomics killed me. Oh, Jesus Christ. Some of the names you see online are great. They get worse as the years go on, I dude. Do. It literally gets worse. I can't wait to see, like, Among Us ones everywhere in a couple years. Like, people I be like, oh, remember the Among Us meme? I'm going to make it Among Us. Someone's like, oh, this guy's name is XX something gamer. And I was like, his name is XX Gamer? That's awesome. He's like, no, it's XX Phase Gamer. I was like, that's lame as shit. That is a lame ass name. I was name. playing with someone named Phase the other day. If your name is XX Gamer, that's fucking awesome. <laughs> I'm not even gonna lie. That's probably the coolest name you could have online would be XX Gamer. X, XX Gamer XX. <laughs> Imagine. Imagine you get in a game with that guy. You're scared. He's probably yeah. gonna fucking he's gonna school your ass in whatever you're playing. Oh, he's sitting back in his chair. He's got the the Cartman pounding face on his keys. On. <laughs> the Cartman World of Warcraft. Like he's I'd wearing a headband. Someone could, like sit back in their chair and game like this. That that would be. Uh, I'm always like sitting right sit up on. Yeah, I'm always like elbows on the thing. Like oh, when you're good, you don't have to game relean all the time, dude. I'm have just to game relean. I can't. <laughs> if I have a controller, I, I don't have to game relean, but. Catch me gamer this lean. Dude, this dude's bad at gamer lean. <laughs> I invented the gamer lean. Yeah, you right, did right. not. <laughs> <laughs> that is easily not a fact. Yeah. <laughs> Finn, can you check uh, that? He's asleep. He's asleep. <laughs> he's asleep. He could he not did. care less. Yeah, he didn't even care about you saying his name. No, he doesn't. Uh, uh, do you, you want to do an animation? Yeah, the anime of the week. Yeah, I was just about to say an animation. the anime of the week. Because I want to get into the article Anthony brought up earlier that you. It'll. Be, I was. I actually it. read a little bit of it at the start of the podcast. I'm it's really for stupid. It. It's fucking um, garbage. Classic as it always is. But um, my anime of the week is. I'm surprised we haven't done it yet, and I, I needed to triple check in the uh, anime of the week uh, drive folder we have, but I didn't find it. Checked everyone's names. Triple checked it like Santa Claus. Uh, High School of the Dead. Uh, so I can actually make a statement on this that's one of the ones jay did forever ago where he did not describe it at all very well nor gave it a good rating so i deleted all of jay's because they were like we could just redo these <laughs> wow well here we go so i was like I yeah we should probably play. just redo these so that's what so i I'm, did it's been a long time since i watched the show so i'm just gonna read the my anime list synopsis because i'm gonna butcher it so it happened suddenly. The dead began to rise, and Japan was thrown into total chaos as these monsters began terrorizing a high school. Takashi Kimuro is faced to kill his best friend when he gets bitten and joins the ranks of the walking dead. Vowing to protect Rei, the girlfriend of the man he just executed, they narrowly escape their death trap of a school, only to be greeted with a society that has already fallen. Soon, Takeshi and Ray band together with other students on a journey to find their family members and uncover what caused this overwhelming pandemic. Joining them is Saikano Busujima, the beautiful president of the Kendo Club, Kota Hirano, an otaku with a fetish for firearms. <laughs> That's interesting. Saya Takagi, the daughter of an influential politician, and Shizuka, uh, yeah, Marikawa, their hot school nurse. <laughs> This is but, not better than what you could have done, I'm going to be but, honest. This but will is... the combined strength of these individuals be enough to conquer this undead apocalypse? So pretty much, kids go to high school, pandemic breaks out, and the five of them band together, well, actually six, counting the otaku, uh, six of them band together in trying to, like it said, find their families and get out, get out of Dodge and hopefully survive the apocalypse. 
Metro aired in 2010. It's that old. It is that old. Yeah. yeah. Um. I I thought this was a great fucking show. I'm actually surprised with how low it is scored on my anime list. I was I, I was gonna bring that up. On the other hand, I'm honestly not. It's Seven just like I kind of wanted to side with Luke. See, I I get it, but like whenever mm-hmm. anyone talks about it, they always say good things about it. I don't really see people even, like shit on it or anything. It's one of those shows that I feel like it has the the ball sucking that shows like this have, where it's like it's old. It's one of the I don't know what like can you call this like an OG at this point for our generation? Uh low That's key, a great I think question. So. Like our generation that'd be like an OG one, like the one that everyone would talk about. Like, oh I, look at this, it's goofy and silly and you see a lot of shit about it. So I feel like I feel like you could call this an OG at that point for a couple of reasons. One, because it's one of the better zombie shows in anime. And um, it's it's like the quintessential funny anime etchy trash shit. You know what I mean? Like every single person and their mom who has at least seen a handful of animes knows the scene about the fucking bullet going between the boobs. And that stuff. fly at Mach 3? <laughs> yeah. yeah, the fly at Mach 3. Everybody knows that scene. So like there's a lot of stuff in this show that's just quintessential, I think, in the growing of the anime watcher. You know what I mean? I think a seven's a very, very, very fair score for this show. Really it's a uh, seven five. I don't know. I mean, I remember I'd watching like to... it. I liked it a lot. Okay. Oh, I thought. I thought. I thought you were gonna. Uh, I, I will. But I'm gonna um, let you say what you okay. want to do first. I like. I think a seven's fine. I think between a seven and a seven point five, I'd like to see it a little bit closer, or at least away from the six category. So I think like a low seven is fine. I I think it just needs a little bit more of a push, or deserves a little more of a push. I'm more impressed that it's even that far above a seven with how many people watch anime now and how many people have probably watched this show not understanding what it is going into it. Mm-hmm. Because you have the ball suckers going, oh, you gotta watch this. This yeah. is this is something that everybody will love, no matter yeah. who you are. It's so good. And then you have the people that obviously will not like this kind of show watching it. Yeah. And then, Probably running to their computers to review it. They're like, oh, oh, oh. I thought it was about zombies. What the this fuck? Is this, this is bullshit. This isn't The Walking Dead. They put titties in here? That's not not in my zombie film. <laughs> you, mm, fan service is bad. There's no show I could watch that has boobies <laughs> in it. Ever. But I will say, it, it, out of popularity, it's ranked 75. Yeah, which is it's, like it's, it's, that's why I was a little confused with the score because it is crazy popular. Mm-hmm. And this is one of the shows that everybody would be like, Why isn't there a season two? When's it coming? And uh, for anybody that doesn't know that lives under a fucking rock, the guy who made it's dead, you're never getting a season two. Cry about it. Unless someone somewhere just decides that they want to prob- most likely butcher a second season. <laughs> you know what would happen if that happened? Everybody who like loves the show like would be so pissed. Oh, off. They'd go up there it's not by the original creator. Fuck it. It's terrible. It's garbage. And then it would release it would be terrible garbage. Yeah. <laughs> yeah well, they were right. Yeah. I just I, sleep I, where I, it is. Yeah. Just let it let it have its its moment in history. I generally really liked the show. I thought it was a great show. I of course I'm one of the people that would love to see season two, but I've come to terms with the fact that we're never gonna get it. But I thought I really did like this show. I thought it was really fun, and it had a lot of good comedic relief uh, because it was pretty fucking gory, and there were some moments where like, oh shit, you know. So I thought it was a great show. That's the first show that I really noticed uh, Kota's voice actor, because he has a very unique and distinct voice, uh, and he plays like the nerdy guy in most shows. Yeah, he he does. Voice. Like uh in in Snafu, he's the he's the one friend of Hachiman that he helps out, the white haired guy. Oh shit. He's yeah, he him. is. Yeah, he's a he he has a shit ton of roles and you can easily tell what his voice he is plays, when he's in him. Oh, he plays Popico. <laughs> yeah, I saw that. Yeah, he's know. one of the Popicos. That's funny as fuck. I'm That's awesome. He has a lot yeah, of Yeah, I honestly 
He's always the otaku. Always. I, I honestly like it. He's, he's in the, the Shido oh, Baku yeah, he's movie. He's the fucking. Uh, is that the? He's the uh, the, the, manager, the main guy. The, the, uh, the manager. Not the, what's his name? Wait. What, what do you call him? What? The director, I think. Oh yeah. Yeah, I I really liked him. He was a fun character. Yeah, that's a that's like his whole character thing in almost almost every show. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, a he's lot. An, he's an overlord. His voice is very distinct. You can tell who he is when he's mm -hmm. in the show, and I like him as a voice actor. I think he I do uh, as well. Yeah, he does a really good job. Yeah, I like him a lot. You know, it's funny because looking at him as a person and then looking at Kota, they low key look similar. He looks like he'd play it. <laughs> yeah, like if you put glasses on Nobuyuki, he'd look pretty damn similar to Kota. I love when art becomes real. Life imitates art. <laughs> oh. Or does art imitate life? You're never getting a second season. <laughs> Cry about it. <laughs> dorks. Big dorks. Yeah. Well, what am I rating this? How am I, am I doing this? I have no fucking clue. You you ask um, the best question of the day. I have no fucking clue what you want for this rating. How many panty shots? That the should have been for that episode. other show. What's the other one you watched? There was like every uh, scene. Rosaria to Vampire. Yeah, that... Did you even you did do that? Mm -hmm. How many um fifty cal shots between the moves do you give it? There's only one uh, in the whole show. I know, but it's such an iconic scene. Yeah. yeah, but you can't give it more than one. There's only one in the show. What if you have to repeat it for science? Like, you know, I on a scale from zero to one, how many? How many you give <laughs> it? I'm gonna go with set. I'm gonna go with a solid seven, like a solid seven. No way it's going down, but it has possibility to go up. Solid seven. Solid seven, as opposed solid to a seven. liquid seven. Or a gas seven. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> What's your guys' favorite state of matter? <laughs> uh, I have to go with uh, the Higgs boson constant, if I'm honest. I don't even know what that is. I'm just going to say liquid. <laughs> Luke, what is that? It's uh, when you reach absolute zero. That's the state of matter. So it's cold. Yeah, except we don't know what it's like because we still haven't reached absolute zero. It's, it's cold. Is it Imagine... possible to reach absolute zero? Theoretically. Theoretically, doesn't give me answers. So yeah, they made up what absolute zero would be based off of what they guessed the physics would do, which absolute zero is where all atoms in matter stop moving. They just cease mm -hmm. to move. Mm -hmm. That's absolute zero. So they made a temperature that they thought was it. We have gone below that, and shit still moves. So we have not reached the real absolute zero. We've passed theoretical absolute zero. So, so theoretically, we, we can reach it. We have to keep going. Make it colder, damn it. Put it in the fridge. More fridges. <laughs> Get more refrigerators. That's it. More refrigerators. Captain. If we set them all to the same temperature, it'll get colder. Get me the ones with the double doors that make the ice. Those ones are epic. Get me more ice, too. We need to throw ice in there <laughs> while we open the fridges. I don't think I know my favorite state of matter. If it's not liquid, not, is wrong. it plasma? Plasma's pretty epic. Plasma's pretty cool, dude. Plasma's pretty cool. epic. But I, I, I lose respect for plasma because, like, it's in your blood. You know, I, when you That's originally, not the same. It, I know it's the same name, but when I originally <laughs> think of plasma, I think of this like a plasma rifle that shoots and melts shit. Yeah, that's the sun. Yeah, that's <laughs> cool. But yeah, no that's. <laughs> That's I, what that is. I don't have the sun in my veins. It's stupid as Oh, fuck. my God. Give me a you liquid. You do if you drink Sunny D. Give me a liquid. Yeah. If you I drink, drink Sunny, Sunny D, D, you got the sun in your veins. Sunny D. I, could... I like Sunny D, but it makes my mouth feel chalky. It makes me feel awful when yeah. I drink it. Well, it's just mostly sugar. It tastes it, good. And then yeah, after, awesome. I'm like, oh. Sunny oh. D is awesome. And the container it comes in is like, you know it's Sunny D. Yeah. Mine's probably think... solid. As a real answer. Fuck. I didn't think this would be such a hard question. <laughs> it's your what favorite state of matter. This isn't hard. 
Yeah, but like I, I think liquid's really interesting, but I think solid's really interesting too. You have a you have one in five, but in normal standards you have a one in three choice. Like it's there's not many options. Gas is boring. If you choose gas, you're wrong. Gas is boring. Yeah, you're just half, a nerd. Half the time you can't even fucking see it. <clears throat> or smell it. Yeah, or smell it. I mean, we could be inhaling the carbon monoxide. Carbon monoxide. Right now. <laughs> we wouldn't even know. You know, at least I'm gonna die by water or solid. I'll see it. That sounds more terrifying. Yeah. I changed my answer to gas. <laughs> <laughs> I changed my answer. Uh, well, gas is stinky. Like solids aren't smell. stinky, and liquids aren't stinky. It's the gas they let out that's stinky. So yeah. all all stinks are gases. But like all good smells are gases too. Like uh, I guess that's true. Yeah. Fuck. This just got harder. <clears throat> Fuck. No. <laughs> shit. 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 <laughs> Because without gases, you can't smell food. But without solids, you can't eat food. Without liquids, you can't drink things. And I really like drinking things. I like drinking things. <laughs> like a nice I cup think... of milk. I love it. I, I finished my cup of milk. See? My glass of milk, actually. Cause this I have a cup of the cup. Harm podcast is brought to you by Dean's. 2% Smiths. milk. The best kind. Get you some. <laughs> Get, you, Get some you some. 2% milk. I like uh, whole milk. I like whole well, milk. Boston, man. I'm a two I'm a, milk I'm a, though. I like I'm a two percenter gang, I think. I used to be two percenter. Whole milk's just creamier, so it tastes better. It, it's like yeah. a better mouthfeel and everything. You like, then you like go, yeah. you slurp it down. You're like, oh. But we can all agree. Good. We can all agree. Skim milk is the worst possible thing. Skim milk sucks ass. Skim milk sucks. Milk's terrible. Let me get a drink of watered down milk real quick. Yeah, yeah. ice cube bass uh, milk. Is he yeah. waking up? Oh no, he's not. No, he's, not. <laughs> he's just <laughs> shifting. He said mm, stretches. Mm, stretches. Give us your favorite fucking state of matter, <laughs> dude. It's not hard. Uh, this is an easy question. I'm, just, I'm gonna go with solid. I'm gonna go solid. All right, two solids and a liquid. These are fair. Yeah, you could do it's a lot. Fair. Of solid. It's fair. It's yeah. fair. But I just like eating more than I like drinking, so I had to go with solids over liquids. I yeah. like eating a lot. As long as we can just all agree, there's no, there's no sustenance in gas. No. No. Fuck gas. No. Fuck, Fuck gas. gas. Can't get full on gas, gas hating gang right here. All my homies hate gas. I hate gas. Just like the next guy. <laughs> just like the um, next guy? Or what what is this article about that you, that you I also want to talk about because I also got it recommended red. on my goddamn <laughs> was it your Google, Google fucking slides? slides? Yeah. yeah. That's what I got it on too, and I was pissed that I got it because I was like, I want to read this. I read the headline and I took a screenshot. I think Luke did more skimming through it than I did, but um, the, I actually title, found it and opened it. The title is "High Dives Controversy: New Anime Highlights the Industry's Reliance on Fan Service," and I thought that was really fucking stupid. And it is. It is. It's it's just a clickbaity ass title. I, first and foremost, Chain Soldier, the only controversial thing about it that I remember ever hearing about was the title change. The content of the show, nobody fucking talks about other than the people watching it. Second off, Chain Soldier is, I would say it's fairly popular this season. But if you look at like our top threes, it's going to be like free run, solo leveling. And Dangerous My Heart has been up there a lot too. And you know, those shows aren't known for their fan service so to say know, the man. industry Free is feet. okay that's the best part of the show but <laughs> to say the industry's reliance on fan service with the top three shows this season have nothing almost no fan service in them it's just a clickbaity ass article it's fucking stupid or you know with the fact that we take the first top three anime I mean, let's even do 10 let's do the top 10 anime on my anime list and see how many of these are relying on fan service Number one, we have Free Ren, no fan service. Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood, no fucking fan service. Steins Gate, highly doubt there's fan service in that. Gintama, I'm sure it has its moments, but I'm sure it's not relying on fan service. Attack on Titan, no. Pretty sure there's nothing there. Gintama, the final, which is a movie, which again, probably doesn't have fan service. Hunter x Hunter. Bleach, Gintama again. And uh, Ginga Eiyu Densetsu. Legend of the Galactic Heroes. I think gonna it, just it guess be that better, that doesn't have any. It'd answers. be better to go through the shows this season, and like this season and last season, and see 
what the top ranking shows are and see how many are fan servicey. Um, my favorite is just the the wording of reliance on fan service. Right. Yeah. Like what shows rely on fan service that people talk about? Honestly, like the ones that are very fan service heavy is what people if if, if you like fan service you watch those. If you don't like fan service you're not going to watch them. You just bitch about them all yeah, the time. Yeah, you're just like, "Well, I yeah. can't believe you're gushing over." It. Oh, that was the fucking that's the one I said last you, time. You last week when I brought up the same fucking it was screen rant again because I remembered it was screen fucking rant. That's like, oh, the most controversial show on High Dive. Yeah, it's Change Soldier. <laughs> like, really? We're just gonna said, overlook. I was, like, <laughs> I was like, I think there's one just a little, <laughs> a little bit worse than Chain Soldier, Slave Soldier on High Dive, and I'm just, just. Just smidge <laughs> the smallest amount i would say it's a little bit uh more more risque mm -hmm. and no mm -hmm. alex you're a, an avid twitter head are people bitching about gushing over magical girls on twitter no i'm surprised i have not seen a single bad thing like so there's this guy on twitter he he's a pretty cool anime guy he has a big youtube channel uh chibi reviews He'll, he posted a couple like screenshots of the show, nothing like too super bad and stuff, and just made like a quick comment about it. Most of the comments underneath were fine. Like you had your average like, oh, this is fucked up, man. This is so weird. Like, but I've never seen a big fucking uh, thread where people take like an hour to type these Twitter threads on that show specifically, which is surprising, but I haven't seen one. Maybe it's I too think it's much for him. They made a big deal about how Chain Slave Soldier needed to be renamed Chain Soldier, which makes no sense. That title makes absolutely fucking no sense. No, yeah, that's fucking stupid. Like, what the fuck does Chain Soldier even mean? If I'm honest, I mean, like, he has a chain on him. Like, I guess, I guess it makes <laughs> okay. sense. Like, yeah, but, but like, Chain Soldier makes you think that he's like he's chained down. Like, the whole thing is that yeah. he's like super strong, so they had to. Like, I don't know. They had to not tie him down to prevent him from overpowering shit. Not the reference of just using a chain as a leash. Yeah, like, he's... It's not, it's not the same thing. Like, quite Those literally, titles... he, is, he is a slave to the, the people in, that fight the monsters. Yeah, like, it's, it's not the same. The title no. does not mean what the show is. No. And you can't keep running from these fucking words. Like, I think that's fucking stupid. You I can't, can't if I practice running. enough. If you what? If I practice enough, I can keep running. My stamina yeah, gets up. Like yeah, but you think the fucking keyboard warriors on these fucking uh, whatever, you know, Twitter and who work at these places, like, you think they run? They don't run. They've never ran in their lives. <laughs> exactly. What do you mean? They'll be huffing and puffing after 10 yards. They are Eric Carvin and his chair <laughs> playing yeah. World of Warcraft. Yeah, they are the fucking... Whoa. I can't but, believe it. I hate this. This show is so dumb. I'm going to write an article about it. Everyone's going to love it. You guys wouldn't believe what I just watched. I watched this show. It's called Change Soldier. They changed the name. It used to be, and it's like SL Star V E Soldier. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I can't say the real name. I might get banned on my Twitter.com X account. I'll have, to, I'll have to cancel myself. Because uh, we can't use those kinds of words in modern day society. Yeah, it's gross. He has a chain so. on, and he gets his ball stomped. <laughs> that's the funniest shit, dude. I think that's where Screen Rant's getting the controversy from, <laughs> because the, the they're mad because they can't get their ball stomped like that. What? Uh, after glazing over the article, what? What did it kind of pick at? Was it just the name? No, it was... Um, oh, I closed it. Fuck. Well, wasn't on. the article this time about... Uh, Gushing it was about Magical Girls? No, it wasn't. No, Gushing no this was... Doesn't, we're surprised it's not about that. Oh, it's, oh, oh, oh. It, Both times it was about Slave Soldier because apparently Screen Rant has a really big problem with this show. Uh, a lot of it, they're just like... So the, the show's plot has fan service in, so that makes it justifiable. But then they put extra fan service in there, and that's where we draw the line at Screen Rant. What's extra fan service? 
I don't know what the you think I know what the fuck they're talking about. They're like, so it's already reaching a point of like going too far with with them, like with the problematic bullshit of this storyline as is. Is there and a link to the article? Try to just... I have it right here. I can they, just send it to you. They could have mentioned like Hokkaido gals are super adorable. Tales of wedding rings. Uh, here's this is my favorite paragraph of it. Those who, uh, so they're talking about how there's many great anime that have been ruined by their use of fan service. Ruined. Their words exactly. You, they ruined the entire fucking show and series because they put fan service in it. Those who fall in the middle of this particular topic are usually fine with fan service as lo- so long as it pertains to the plot in some way, such as in rom-coms with naturally problematic storylines like more than a married couple but not lovers, and genres that are known for showing more skin than others or using certain comp- compromising camera angles like zombie or horror flicks. You remember the naturally prob- the naturally problematic storyline of more than a married couple but not lovers? Naturally yeah, naturally problematic. problematic. Right. It's because it's totally realistic what happens in these shows. Yeah, because they do that in Japanese schools all the fucking <laughs> like, time, dude. Like, even I remember when I first heard the plot. I'm like, wait, what? <laughs> That's yeah. Let's let's it's just so make students maybe, live together all take. alone. And pretend to be married. Yeah, for a project. Yeah, but it's natural. That's... It's natural. Do it for that three happens. years. Naturally problematic. Yeah, that's uh, that was my favorite line of this whole <laughs> article. I was like, holy fuck, you did not just use more than a married couple, which is completely unrealistic, and the point of the show is not that fucking dumbass plot that they added. It's the fact that the dumbass plot leads to actual fun plot. It's... They show a little too much skin in that show, and we don't like that here at Screen Rant. Oh, no. They need to start firing these people. <laughs> they well, do. to be fair, where are the one giving them the clicks and the ad revenue? They got one. Steven Blackburn, if you're listening to this in any capacity... Let's have Steven Blackburn on the podcast and have a debate. <laughs> if, you're, if you're listening <laughs> to this, I just want to say you're a fucking idiot. <laughs> You're a dingus Steven and a moron. Stephen Blackburn wrote that article, did he? Yeah, he did. And he's a dingus and a moron. Someone can share this clip with him saying he's a dingus and a moron. <laughs> <laughs> and he'll probably go, do, do this you kid think, really Do you think he knows slowly. that gushing over magical girls exists? No. Or do you no, because he, he doesn't knows... watch anime. He doesn't watch anime. I can guarantee you he that. Could have at least checked like the most popular anime airing right now, and like you could have just looked at the top three or five. I don't think Chain Soldiers in that top five. It's definitely not. So <laughs> I can guarantee you it's not, because that wouldn't make sense. Why would that be in the top five? That shows is... it's it's like. People are watching it, but it's not like crazy popular. No, it's not like everyone's glazing it. And he chose that show. He made one on uh, Hokkaido Gals. I'm I'm on his profile. Oh, did all did he say anything about the fan service in that? No, he said new crunchy romance anime hurts its strong start by becoming a harem series. What the fuck what does the that fuck did, mean? If you just what look, does that? What did on, you expect? <laughs> Let's just let's look at the the art real quick. Well, there are plenty of anime fans who can't get enough of harems. Uh, viewers watching the new anime Hokkaido Gals are super adorable. Who have gotten used to the cute relationship between quiet transfer student Subasa and the outgoing classmate Minami will find the sudden convincing allusion to a harem getting built to be rather jarring. Makes right, like the real. name implies gals being gals. plural he doesn't know what a plural is or we just look Sorry. at the art we have three girls in that one image oh like, he mentions what? it here hold on aside from the title's pluralized use of the word gal this adaptation of the original manga by kai ikana created an impression of the first two episodes that it would be a stereotypical anime rom-com with a boy and girl like each other but uh, can't no. their feelings by gals some <laughs> may have na- naively believed it was just a blanket statement to describe for yuki who's because who's from who the Hokkaido. fuck thought that let's be honest <laughs> who th- so does anyone want to double that? Down what I said? No anyone one. agree with how they feel how i feel about stephen blackburn anyone else want to agree i want to he's a dingus and he's stupid i want to meet the guy who said wow 
I wonder if this is like a, an interesting spin on all the types of gals in Hokkaido where you're going to get to learn about them. Is Who the his last, fuck thought that? His last sentence, and while it still seems possible that Hokkaido gals or Super Dora won't go the traditional harem route, the prospects aren't currently looking so great. In what world? The dude's obviously more interested in Fuyuki than the rest of them. Like, what the fuck does he it's, mean? It's pretty fucking clear at this point. It was clear when they first met the other gal. Like, he brought up Fuyuki how many cow- how many fucking times? He he doesn't watch anime, and he doesn't know, like, what anime is. He also doesn't know what plurals are. We have he determined no these three things. <laughs> yeah, we've determined those three things about He's him. He's also not good at picking up on visual cues. No, not at all. Uh, just going from r slash anime's top five for this weekly gay engagement and discussion. Freerun, solo leveling, Apothecary Diaries, Delicious in Dungeon, and Dangers in My Heart. Dude, those are the lewdest shows. How many of those? They, they rely... Those are like, yeah, those are like all relying on Etchy, dude. All of them. Number six. All of them. Okay. Number six is Gushing Over Magical Girls. But, like... <laughs> but he doesn't even fucking mention Gushing Over Magical Girls. Do you know girls. where Chain Soldier, Slave Soldier is on this whole where? list? 14. <laughs> okay, so he chooses the show that's not crazy popular. 14. Like, and there's nothing even above it that is, I would say, has lewd or fan servicey reliance. I don't think any of these shows really have the reliance on it. Gushing over Magical Girls has like the this is really extra yeah. because it's funny to be extra. It, it's yeah, I think saying a show relies on fan service is one thing, but when a show like Gushing over Magical Girls' whole point is fan service, like it's, it's not like, relying on it because that's no. the point of the show. And then you you say the blanket statement that anime relies on fan service to be popular, motherfucker. Like, <laughs> it's no the, sh- the show anime. you mentioned was fourteen on the list. Watch it, and that's just from people who talk about it constantly on the anime subreddit, where the biggest group of anime watchers go to. This guy doesn't pick up on social cues. This guy's probably a hoot at parties. You know that meme where there's someone standing in the corner and everyone else is dancing? He's like, they have no idea I'm X. He's probably like, they have no idea I write for an anime news network. They have no idea I'm an author at Screen Rant. <laughs> He's like, hey, I'm an author at Screen Rant, and everyone just moves away. <laughs> <laughs> they have no idea about, I actually really like fan service. SX Soldier? SX Soldier. <laughs> X soldier. <laughs> yeah, you can't say the full words. So say you guys, did you guys hear about redacted soldier? They're like, why would they call it that? <laughs> what the, slur what the did they put there? What slur did they put for that show? And he's like, slave. And they're like, what the fuck are you talking about? Slave. We are normal people. <sighs> oh it's, man, so that guy's posting. It's comments. something He's not very great at writing He's articles. Posting cringe on main. Literally, he is literally posting cringe on main. I don't. High Dive's uh... other big idol anime series captures the genre spirit better than Oshinoko. Gosh, wait, 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 wait. Yeah, what? Wait, whoa, 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 what? What other idol show? Um, it's mostly known for hosting the critically acclaimed series Phantom Oshinoko. Of the idol? Uh, but very few fans are aware of the anime streaming platform licensed a newer title. Also about the idol industry called Phantom of the Idol. Called it right there. There it was. I nailed it. It looks it. pretty fun. I'm not going to lie. It looks like a fun I show. I saw it when it was airing, but literally no one talked about it. It wasn't even in like, I don't think it was even in the top I 30 never, for anime. This is the first time I've ever heard about it. I heard about it and I saw it, but as so many people were not talking about it, I was like, it's probably not worth Let's see. Oh, Let's shit. Let's see what it says. Phantom of the Idol. What? Let's take a peek. Oh, I just got a fucking pop-up ad. God damn it. Uh, It has a 6.75. Oh, I remember seeing this artwork. Yeah. It has a 6.75. Uh, okay, it looks fun. It's Oshinoko. Like an 8.6, like an eight eight I think. 8.7. Ooh, look at me. I'm I'm pretty good at this. Uh, other shows that this studio did that Phantom of the Idol is ranked under. Yuki Yuna is a hero. 
Two Days Early Children, Keen Moza. Let's see, let's see. Moza's good. Uh, uh, <laughs> fucking Stardust Telepath. Jesus. <laughs> Bully anime. Yeah, the, there's. That's the majority of them. I would even, like, I would so argue Oshinoko isn't even, like, focused solely. It's not, I would. It's an idol show for sure, but to say it's focused solely on idols or lump it in with a show, like, it's like saying that and Love Live are one and the same because they're both idol shows. They're very obviously not. Well, I think it's they both focus on the idol industry. It's not that they both have idols in them. I think Phantom of the Idol is also an like idol industry, industry focused show. Uh, I think it's about the industry as well. I mean, I don't fucking know, but. Dude, looks, this is the, the reason I kind of want to watch it because it looks like it's about two male idols. I don't know, dude. This this studio has released some bangers. So they also did uh, the Dreaming Boy is a Realist. That's rated under Phantom of the Idol. Sadly, I, I liked that show. I got but, a little, but how did that show they, end again? Does so, anyone remember what? How did oh. Dreaming Boys a Realist end? They they were like, at school. The one girl that he went on that date with who likes books ended up going to the same. Hold on, stop. Yeah, your mic fucked your up mic there for a really second. Weird for a second. Does it sound fine? Yeah, you sound fine now. Say like say like a longish sentence. Um, she sells seashells by the seashore. No, it's, it sounds fucked uh, up. It's, there's some buzzing. It's weirdy. Yeah, there's some yeah. weird going on. I don't he know did if you hit it or something. Hmm. Is it still being goofy? No, you're good now. No, it sounds good. That was weird. Yeah. I think you must have like hit it with your elbow or something. I just Apologies. made sure all the connections gamers at home. Good. Yeah, I think something happened with that. Okay, okay. you can continue. Uh, I'm pretty sure like the last episode esque was, um, they were having the introduction for the kids who were going to be coming to that school. The one girl was there. <laughs> she showed up and she was like, "Oh, hey, like I know you. We went on that date." And the girl he. Um, like still likes. I don't. I don't know how his feelings are at the moment, but she was like, "Well, who's this?" And the other girl was like, "Who's this?" And he's like, "Oh shit!" And then I think it just like kind of ended. There was no like real oh, resolve. <laughs> he was just like, "Oh fuck!" <laughs> he's like, oh shit. The girl ended up being like what eleven? No, I think she was. She was in middle school. She was starting yeah, high it. school. She was getting to uh, other shows that I had to say because they also had more bangers than just that. Uh, Reborn as a vending machine. I'm looking at it. <laughs> and my statue opening act. <laughs> uh, so Alex, we are. Uh, I hated that show so much. We're in the right. It has a 5.8 on my anime list. So we, we're right. That sh it. What does my set opening? I, act? It's it's too close to six. That show was fucking terrible. <laughs> oh shit, they're doing a movie about Iris. <coughs> I need to watch Oops, fucking uh, Mudenase set on Gakuen. I watched it when it was airing, I actually. Want, I, really want to watch I want to watch that show too. It it, it it exists. So it's mid? I mean, it's fine. Like, <laughs> it's it's fine. It It existed. My favorite, yeah, my favorite episode was the the green haired girl right there to the right of the wolf girl. Mm -hmm. She's she's a she's a koala, so she eats shit. Oh, <laughs> okay. <laughs> so they got really realistic with it. The the girl on the left up there above, not the brown haired girl, but the one above her, she's a panda. I can see the panda aspect. That that's just it. She's just a panda. There's not really much to her. It's it's okay. Like I think it's enjoyable. You guys would like watching it. Uh, it's oh, nothing the studio, profound. The studio did Endro. Hell yeah! Oh yeah! Hell, uh, yeah. Yeah. Hell yeah! Endro's Endro's major major epic. Endro was based. Endro major epic. I'm surprised. Deserves higher Stardust than six point nine. Has a seven point two. But Endro has a six point nine two. Yeah, that's pretty fucked. That's not okay. That's fucked up. Bad. That's that's very fucked up. Stardust Telepath existed. <laughs> like Yeah, it did. It was, it was a show. And we watched it. We did. It's not even that no it denied. wasn't like bad. I was just like really fucking bored and the one girl was just an asshole ninety percent of the time. 
Dude, she sucked so bad. Yeah, what was her sucked. issue? I don't know. The whole show, she was just mean. And we never like, got the okay. alien resolve. <laughs> like, what the fuck happened with that? I mean, we didn't get it in fucking Adachi and Shimamura either, so no, we we're didn't. used to and aliens yeah, not getting we, resolved. Yeah, we still ask questions about that. Why did they just? What bring was the in, point of her? I don't know. Why did they bring an alien and then it's just like, well, there's an alien here. She now. just wore a helmet. Adachi and Shimamura had a seven point one. Really? Yeah, it has a seven point one. It's ranked higher than. Well, I know, whatever, man. I don't know. I ranked liked lower it than I liked it. Stardust. It, it looked really pretty. It was a good looking show. I I liked it way better. Ranked like, lower than Stardust. It was, it was so much better than Stardust Telepath. Yeah, it was a million times better. <sighs> oh jeez. Yeah, so this guy, man, I don't I don't know what he's on. I don't know what he's on Fucking, here. This uh, Stephen Blackburn. He's on being a dingus and a moron. He's on being a goofball. That's what he's on. Dude, he's no on way. Titles. Paul Nomichi only has a 6.3 right now. We, well, we just got the new character. We have to let those rankings go up. It, it, they're just wrong, dude. I know. Paul Nomichi has got a 6.3. I think a huge reason that show's probably not popular is because it's about it's, it's Mahjong. I don't care. It's impossible to fucking watch unless it's illegal. You can't. You well, yeah, can't too. watch it anywhere. Yeah. The the streaming platforms are Anime Digital Network, Billy Billy Global, and I Chi 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 I Q I Y I. Ah. Oh, I saw. I got a fucking I it, it isn't there. Like, I wonder why it isn't on High Neighbor Crunchy. I don't know. Um, wasn't the show Isekai Onsen Paradise? Uh, like unable to be found or is it supernatural uh, it, prefecture chiba the, uh, it's on supernatural YouTube prefecture only chiba in is Japanese. a youtube or oh, there is with i'm glad i'm glad you brought up youtube because there's something i pissed the fuck off about what so you guys will be happy to hear this sort of you'll probably roast me anyway but uh amanda and i started watching attack on titan we are oh, what a fucking nerd 14. you're watching attack on titan <laughs> now <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Watch that shitty ass but, show. Fuck, fuck those guys that watch that show. But we're like, we're like fifteen episodes in, and we are browsing when we were starting it. We were looking where to watch it. Like I, I knew Crunchyroll, but I didn't know if they had the first season, and they did. But um, navigating through like Roku TV on Crunchyroll is kind of weird, so we didn't see it at first. So we got on YouTube. Do you know how much they charge for the first season in standard definition to watch? Fifteen dollars. Thirty dollars. Seventeen dollars for standard definition. Do you know how much HD costs? How much? Forty-five. Thirty-five dollars to it. watch one season. Did you pay for? It? No. Fuck no. Okay, I thought you were just gonna cringe out and go, "Well, we paid for it, and then we found out it was on Crunchyroll." No, 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 no. Is that not the most <laughs> ridiculous bullshit you've ever heard in your life? It's YouTube. Yeah. What did you expect? They give you fucking thirty-second unskippable ads now. You think they're oh, not gonna worse. charge you? It, Four it, arms it, it, it in the lake. They do like they do like two. Oh, sorry, I don't know that anymore because I have an ad block on. I like to stay My up to date with how shitty it. YouTube is getting. But um, <laughs> it, it's surprising. You can rent a movie for like five dollars, a movie yeah. like a full H, HD, fucking feature film. We rented the whale for like six bucks, and you have it for three weeks. How long and do you then have a you. I don't know. I didn't even fucking care. I saw that price and I was like, this is ridiculous. There's no way. I don't I know like, why you even started to go for that in the first place. Well, because I didn't know if it was on Crunchyroll or not the first season. Because like like I said, it's hard to navigate. It's not it's not optimized for that um, on the TV. But yeah, I was aghast. I was actually infuriated that they're charging that much to watch one season of an anime. I was, I was my... He was a uh, Minecraft guest. Uh, I don't even know the noise they make. I haven't seen a guest in a long time. It's like that. I, yeah, yeah, dude, you didn't pitched. even pick up yeah, on your mic because it's so high pitched. It's not registering because it's, it's so uh, high pitched and loud. You think of that, but higher. Uh, uh, something like that. <laughs> I was just blown away, dude. Like, for people like who don't have Crunchyroll or something like that, like. 
How many people have paid for that? It's on Netflix. I would I would say the layman who is attempting Fuck to Netflix. get into anime. I'm never paying for Netflix. It's also on um I think Disney Plus. Or it's on Hulu. It's on Hulu. It's I've never... not on Disney Plus, we checked. It's probably on Hulu. I'm never fucking yeah. paying for Hulu. I'm not again. paying for Fuck I'm Hulu. not paying for Hulu or Netflix ever. Bone, Did you know bone, um bone, 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 bone. Man, it told me something about Amazon Prime Video that they're doing? Uh this they have a spot. lot. The problem with Amazon Prime Video, and this is just in general, is not everything is available if you have Prime. I think it was uh they put commercials in. If you want to pay for no commercials, you have to pay extra on top it of It depends. So the way it works is that Amazon Prime is not just Amazon Prime as a streaming service. It also uses I think it's like freebie or whatever the fuck that other one is. Mm-hmm. And so Ruby. if you stream it, if yeah, I think it also has Tubi. It's like those mixed into Amazon Prime. So if you watch a show that is streamed by freebie or Tubi, but not, but on Amazon Prime or something like that, it's free, but you get ads. Oh, okay. So, like so third it's not, party shows get ads. Yeah, kind. Yeah, kind of. I think is how I'm wording that right. I am wording that right, right? Like, that made sense how yeah, I just yeah, said yeah, that? Yeah, that, that makes sense. Okay. All right. I wanted to make sure because yeah. as I was saying, I was like, I feel like I'm losing the sauce somewhere. No. Yeah, I got that. It was a, that was a good explanation. Because I was, the last show I watched, which made me say, wow, I've been watching too many really good shows lately. I was going to watch on Amazon Prime Video because that's the only place you could watch it. I opened it up. I got like a 30 second ad. I said, I'm not doing this. I went to, I went to the night anyway, and anyway. just said, fuck it, I'm done. Yeah, I was just I was blown away, man. That was that that's ridiculous. It's like seventeen dollars for standard definition. I mean, that's what you get. It's ridiculous. That is ridiculous. That's expensive. I wasn't trying. I was just I was curious. <laughs> I'm a, I'm actually kind of surprised it's on YouTube. If I'm being honest, I am as well. Mm-hmm. YouTube has a lot of shit. That Super I don't normal. Think we realize Prefecture, Prefecture Chiba. Chiba. Yeah. Yeah, it's I'm just uploaded that. by the studio. Like it's just an upload. Yeah, there's nothing. There's like nothing to it either. I watched like the first two episodes. Like this, there is nothing. <laughs> there's nothing here. It doesn't have subtitles either. It's it's strictly in Japanese. Mm-hmm. So you don't really know what uh, what's going on. Does it not even exist on? Dude, I don't think it even exists on my anime list. Super normal prefecture Chiba. Yeah, I just looked it up. The legend. It's on live of... chart, isn't it? That's how we found it. Yeah, all of mine. All right, I'm going to live chart now because it's it literally doesn't show up on there. And then I'm going to go. The legend of Super Normal Prefecture Chiba, my anime list. I, I found it now. Oh, because it's not in English on my anime list at all. It's only uh, in Japanese. Makes sense. They've only got one voice actor listed for any of the characters. Who is this studio? Super normal studio, that's right. Yeah. Yo, they do all super normal shows. Dude, it's like a it's like a high school project that for some reason made it this far. It's kind of based, like I kinda of wanna watch it. But I wanna know what's going on. No fucking shot. No goddamn shot. What? Come on, spill the the only the only voice actor in that's listed for the Legend of Super Normal Prefecture Chiba, I will give you one goddamn guess as to what show they voice act in this season. Is it a, a female character? It is a female. There, that's okay. the only one listed. There's one female voice actor listed, and there is um, one other character this season that she uh, do uh, she voices. I will give you one guess of the show. I'm going to go with of... No. Um Hokkaido Gals, Fuyuki. No, if you guessed I I'm like in shock. If you guessed the the yellow-haired magical girl from Jesus Gushing Christ. Over Magical no. Girls, you would be correct. Oh, oh, oh. You would be goddamn magia. correct. That wasn't even, that was not even a uh, option for me. She has three total roles. One is Legend of Super Normal Prefecture Chiba. One is the yellow haired magical girl from Gushing Over Magical Girls. The other is from Wandering Witch. She was just a Jerry village Malina. boy. Yes, she was just a village boy in that. That was her first role ever, was a village oh, boy wow. in Journey of Elena. 
It seems like most of the voice actors in Gushing Over Magical Girls are pretty new. Yeah, which is cool. Still, I think that's it's awesome. really cool. I and like that a lot. They're, they're fucking killing yeah, it right now. It. The, the just the, like the fact that she's in stupid fucking Prefecture Chiba, and then she's just that. Like, like if I was to say my favorite show this season when it comes to just voice acting, it's probably Gushing Over Magical Girls. Oh, dude, we, we might need to watch acting. High Speed at Twile, a a toy, a toilet, a Twile. No, we, we kept it on. We kept it on. No, we, we got, didn't. We got rid of the bicycle one. That's. Did we keep that one? Oh yeah, we got rid of the bicycle one. I don't know why. Yeah. Any, I don't know why I had fucking selected in the first place. But I don't either. Uh, the main girl, the pink hair girl, it's is Utena. Utena. It's Utena. I was like, oh yeah. She's... Wait, what show is it? Like high speed. High it's speed. Like Formula One toilet. racing girls or some shit. Oh. Let's see. Oh my God, Kiwi has so many goddamn roles. Really? We did this last week, didn't we? I think yeah, so. Yeah, we did. Yeah. Kiwi has a shit ton of roles, dude. Her first fucking role was in JoJo's. Oh, that's based. In 2016. She After that, she's it. just been. Yeah, she's in a lot of shit. Wow. She's in Zombieland Saga. She's Kaguya from Kaguya Sama. Damn. Kiwi is, Kiwi is Kaguya? <laughs> Okay. Okay. Uh, I don't hear it. I, I I don't hear it. I don't hear That's it. That's crazy. All. That's wacky as shit. That's wacky, <laughs> zany, a little bit cr crazy. Wild. But nuts to butts. She's Comey. Comey doesn't speak, so it must be honest about that. She doesn't communicate, dude. Get it <laughs> <Yeah>. right. <laughs> get, get it right. Get it right. Let's see who else are we interested. What, what's uh, what's the good, uh, the good little bunny guy? What's oh the uh, the pink one or the black one? No, the black one, dude. The white one's <laughs> dumb. He's the white one sucks. I, I like the the evil villain one. He's the good. One. The... Heck up. Who else is he voice? She she Who else does she voice? is Renge's older sister from Nun Nun <laughs> Pior. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you want to play this like rabbit, bear, dog, cat thing? Yeah, sure. She's Toga from My Hero. She's Oshawott from Pokemon. <laughs> what a wild and diverse yeah. set of voices yeah it's a mixed bag these voice actors are really good by the way i don't know where they found some of these people these girls they're but killing. holy fuck they're, they're nailing it hardcore yeah. yeah it's it's definitely one of the higher tier voice acting shows of the season like it's really good Ooh. she's yami from to love room <laughs> no way that's that's based that's so based. You wouldn't understand because you didn't watch it, but it's based. Holy shit. Okay. Uh, Evil Bear Thing has been voice acting since apparently 1988. Evil Jesus Bear Christ. Thing? Right. Yeah, from Gushing Our Magical Girls. You just said, do you want to fucking voice act this Evil Bear Thing? Oh, no. I, did I say bear? I said like yes, cat, you said dog. Bear. Rabbit. So I was just copying what you said because I, I thought I that was you... you. Run it did. back! Run it back! <laughs> Jamie, run it back. Finn, run that back! Uh, Again, the main did not move. The pink-haired main magical girl is fucking Shizuku from Nijigasaki. <laughs> perfect. It's <laughs> I perfect. swear to God, I swear to God, dude. Oh, dude, this is this is an awesome show. She was in it a is. Soul Lily? I think she's the one with like the most voice acting roles. No, mm -hmm. it, really? no, it's definitely the bear. Oh, the kiwi. It's definitely, no, the bear. It's definitely yeah, Venalita. Yeah. Venalita is definitely the most. They're different voice. I thought they were the same voice actor for the white one and the black bunny. What the fuck is They're that different. Thing? They're two different fucking voice actors. Holy shit, she's been. She's got so many roles too. 
Holy shit, they have like veterans and the main girl's like, I've been in one show before. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe that was the goal to get get some new, yeah. new people. In there. That's awesome. I'm totally fucking down mm -hmm. with that. That's cool as fuck. And she's nailing it and she's making a name for herself and she's doing really good. <laughs> she's Utena the she's Utena. Horny, evil magical girl. <laughs> I'm here. Let me whip you <laughs> or something, whatever the fuck it is. That was a. I did not expect to go down that rabbit hole. Yeah, the voice acting rabbit yeah, hole is a deep it's one. Dangerous. It's dangerous. It's always it a deep is, one. We it's it the most slippery slope. Yeah. We seem to always lead down it somehow. Yeah, we really do always get down it's, there. It's always so interesting. I have the Ponomichi OP stuck in my head still. Bon, I love that one. Bon, bon. I go pon po po pon po pon pon. I've just been sitting here like I've been like shaking my feet around and going like mm, 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 like in my head like I need to stop. I really need to stop, but fuck. You yeah, um uh <laughs> my brain broke. I was gonna say yeah. something. I was like that day. I had I had something and I lost it. Anyone else got anything? Anyone got something to try to uh, save me here? I had a fucking beverage. That's where I am. Need a bev. I think I'm out. I'm yeah, I, I almost forgot about the Netflix thing, but or the YouTube thing, but I brought it up. Oh, do you guys want to help vote for uh, what hoods entertainment show I watch? Yeah, so you're, you're, you're gonna do the hood mobbing. I was thinking about it, and I was like, I could watch a long show because I have like my next three anime of the week set up, so I could mm -hmm. watch something stupid yeah. long, or I could get hoods mobbed, hate the show for like entirely, and then go back to watching good shows and then appreciate yeah. them more. So I think I'm going to do that. All right, so on Hoods Entertainment's my anime list page, I looked. A lot of these are porn. Most. Like, Hold on, let me let me get there real quick. Hold on, let me grab a drink. Like, too many. <laughs> Should we wait for... Uh, get a beer. <laughs> beer break. <laughs> Yeah, uh, there's there's a lot more porn than you'd think. Oh, fucking Gecky Doll, I can't believe I watched that shit. Okay. All right, so at the very bottom, which is not Wait, looking. Hood, Hoods did 3D Kanojo. Yes. Whoa. And I think I did that. I think I did that as that was my an anime uh, week. Yeah, I did that as my anime week because Real yeah. Girl, amazing, absolutely phenomenal, hands down, insanely good. Mm -hmm. I could watch Drifters, which is their best show ever. That's done by a completely different studio. It's by Hood's Drifters Studio because it doesn't associate with Hood's yeah. Entertainment. So I could watch that. I could watch Mysterious Girlfriend X. I could watch... I don't even know what this fucking show is. Hold on. Uh, a Good Librarian, like a Good Shepherd. That's that's one I could watch. Uh... Let's see. Watch the rest Rescue of these me. I've either watched or they're like OVAs. There's. Watch Rescue uh, me. What's that? Rescue me. I'm not. No, I'm watching a real <laughs> show. I'm watching a full ass show. I could watch a Magic Breast Secret Sword Scroll. Jeez. Alice in Deadly School. That's the. Like, spin off of Geki Doll, which sucked. I watched that. I could watch uh, Fantasista Doll. Fantasista Doll? I could watch that. Or I think the last one I could watch that I haven't is Marchin Madchen. So there's four shows. Or I guess more than four because I could watch Drifters or Mysterious Girlfriend X. But I feel like those are too high rated to be watching yeah, for you, a hood you mobbing. You can't do Drifters. Yeah, you gotta do I, something crazy. I feel like for a hood mobbing, those two can't count. So I have four choices that aren't porn or like 14 minute episodes that I haven't seen yet. Wow, they really just <laughs> this look. Wait, wait, wait. What Horisan from Mia Mordecai? Yeah, I don't. They, they did an OVA, I guess. We talked about that before. Yeah, they did it. The it's the original one from like 2012. Mm -hmm. Oh, thank God! Another studio <laughs> took that over. A better studio that made an amazing the, the Luke, what single was the first option again. So there's a good librarian, like a good shepherd. It has a six point eight five. 
Six I don't know point. if you determined that being too highly rated or not. Are you it's on a, uh, Daito my Shokan anime list? no Hitsujikai? Are you on my anime list? Yes. You said I had a 6.85? Yes. Not exist on mine. Or do you have them in it, Romaji? It's, it's in Romaji. It's Daito Shokan no Hitsujikai. With the, uh, well, it's not even Romaji. It's like I'm looking at ratings. The only 6.585 rating is Real Girl. Right now. It's in the second It's row. literally to the left of Real Girl. The left of Real Girl for me is Drifters. Second row, third <laughs> column. Yeah, Are I know. you I'm filtered just saying, by my... score? No, I'm at all. What? Filter it by score in the right. Where it says all, go to the exact right corner and filter it by score. Mine's sorted by members. You're sorted by members. Filter it by score. Or oh, now it moved to the right, but whatever. It's the orange haired girl right in the middle of the image. Yeah, I still see it. Okay, that looks kind of epic. So there's that. There's Manyu Hikencho at a 6.19. There's mm. Fantasista Doll at a 6.17. And then last but not least, there's Marchin Madchen at a 5.4. There's the specials version, too. That's higher rated. OVA's <laughs> got rated higher than the actual fucking show. Luke, I want it's you nice to do a, a good librarian like a good shepherd. I want to know why it's rated so cat. low. There's an it epic looks cat like a, in episode there's a cat, 11. And I want you to do that one. It looks like it. it's not like shit. So I wonder why it's rated so low. I mean, there's only one way to find out, right? Then again, would, first season say of that 3D. One, that, that's, my, that's my vote. Like Then again, first season of Real Girl got rated real low. And I don't know why either. Because the first season wasn't bad. Second season was definitely way better. But like. Uh-uh. I yeah, because I kept my, looking. Uh, librarian. Librarian. Faux show. Yeah. Oh, I guess I could do Blaz, ba Blaz Blue Alter Memory, too, <laughs> at 6.08. That is actually 12 24-minute episodes. That is also I I an vote, option. I vote this one. Yeah, but is it, it a is... hood mobbing? If I, if I like this, does it count Luke, as a hood mobbing? It's a hood show. Yeah, but I'm saying, if I like this, does it count as a hood mobbing, or did I not I get hoods mobbed? Look, I feel no. like there's going to be some okay, aspect of the show. It's just going to be ass. Yeah. Maybe, I don't know. Like, what is if her I flag mean, breaks rated? Uh, good fucking 6.3. 6.36. Okay, definitely not high, but... It's definitely 0.5 below fucking that, and it has more people on it voting lower for it. That, there we go. More people have seen that shit ass show. Maybe just not enough people have seen the other shit ass hood show. I don't know what you mean by that. Yeah, I vote uh, Shepard. Yeah, maybe this could change our hood opinion. Like, I've already hood. given you a show that would change the hood opinion. It doesn't change the hood opinion, but they can make good shows. And yeah, it's real girl. Real girl. I say try it. That's no, vote. real girl was fantastic. <laughs> 100%. I wouldn't have made an anime of the week if I didn't think it was fantastic. And I regret that I had to make it because it was a Hoods show. <laughs> a and I had show. to say, yeah. I had to say, here's a good show from Hoods. Fuck them. They make terrible fucking shit, they dude. Do. Uh, that's my vote. I expect good things. I expect mid. What do you mean you expect good things? That means it's I... not a Hoods mob. If I get good things out of it, it's not a Hoods mob. Look, we don't Hoods know if any is, of these be a Hoods mob. We don't know. Hoods mob is I sit there and I go, oh, wow, this is really good. And then like episode 10, they tell me that it was all a dream and that I two mean, dudes were actually that. pegging Red the guy pill, the whole blue time. Pill. Morpheus, if her, Morpheus. <laughs> if her flag breaks literally did that for yeah, 10 know, episodes, that's... it was like, oh, cool. And then it's like, <clears> what the fuck is this? I mean, that show could do that. We don't know. It could. They're going to red pill, blue pill. Uh, Luke, you are the experiment. Go do your thing. Yeah, you are the guinea pig. Run the test. I mean, I did say I'm going to watch all of Hood's Entertainment stuff. Yeah. I, I'm not really going to count the porn, I don't think. I mean, if they're 12 episodes, 24 minutes, you got to count them. They're not. That's <laughs> they're the like problem. They're not. 16 minutes, one episode. It's uh, literally most porn. You can just skip them. It's, it's quite literally porn. Like, it's... Yeah. 
<laughs> it's not. We can just pass over those then. The full length feature shows. And I didn't realize how much porn they've done. Uh, I'm not yeah, watching OVAs for this shit either. Like, <laughs> no, just watch the base show. I would lose my mind if I went back and watched the OVAs for goddamn Quasar of Stigmata. Yeah, that's Fuck the old that. tippy vote. Goddamn show, dude. <laughs> I'm interested about Drifters. Drifters is what, like... It's an isekai. It's rated stupid high, like, in general. Not even by hood standards. In general, that's a high rating of a 7.89. Mm -hmm. It is really high. Like, what the fuck? And they had... they made like a whole different studio for it because it's done by hoods drifters studio they have a separate entity making drifters well luke i expect next week maybe you could chime us in on on how the show's going give us a little update go watch the librarian show <laughs> it probably fun. won't suck too bad go watch shepherd librarian like, how do I even watch this? It's on Crunchyroll. It was on Funimation. It's not on Crunchyroll. In any wave. All right. So there's third show in a row that I'm watching illegally. I just looked at my light. I don't know why. Which why? Oh, I don't yeah. know. The really <laughs> fucking LED. You looked down and you looked like you were fighting for your fucking <laughs> life. I still see it when I close my eyes. All the little dots. <sighs> All right. All right. Well, that's you can tell from my voice how excited I am for that. Are you starting it tonight? <laughs> am I starting it tonight? I don't think so. I just have to watch Mr. Villain's day off. He's probably that's gonna go I to the zoo left. and see the pandas. Like I have a Udusei, Pawn, and Tales of Wedding Rings. That's pawn, it. Ba -ba -pawn, ba -pawn, ba -pawn. The new girl is so dude, epic. The cat girl in fucking <laughs> Tales of Wedding Rings, dude. Down horrendous cataclysmic and there's one more if like the first image of the ed it has like all five of them. the one on the far left the demon looking homie i'm like bro she's I'm waiting for that but yeah. like the cat, the girl, cat girl she's fucking like I'm excited to watch you say <laughs> also, down horrendous yeah. anyone else got anything uh, pawn, you said also pawn, something. Pawn, 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 pawn. I thought he did too. He, you said also, and then did I? Oh, I yeah, was gonna, I, 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 was, I was just going to reiterate the fact that the new girl in Pawn Novici is in fact based. She's oh, super based. Her personality is like that. And she goes pawn, 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 pawn. Yeah, and then the bird <laughs> and chimes then, in, and then and they and played then, mahjong. <laughs> <laughs> and then they played mahjong, and the bird was there, and pawn, they were pawn, like, pawn, "Why pawn, is there a fucking bird?" Don't worry, he'll stay here. He can speak but only he can to me. play <laughs> and only Ooh, speaks to me man. tomorrow we get torture princess thank fuck yeah, in hokkaido gals oh, we get some more mal -mal. Hokkaido gals. if we get dude, more mal -mal, mal -mal, mal i can't keep giving my secrets away dude <laughs> mal mal is she's too good at it that show, that show um, is so fucking exactly, funny it's on i really like that it, show. yeah it's fucking great it isn't what I it's, like expected. It's no. better. It's better than what I expected. Mm -hmm. It is. And I like the goofy troll. Who, I like the goofy troll guy who's always just there. He's just. He's just <laughs> having a good time. He's just like hanging out. His eyes pointing two completely different directions. Mm -hmm. and I'm not gonna lie. That beer she poured, stupendous. That was good. Yeah. The flaccid head or whatever <laughs> they were talking about. <laughs> good show. I like it. It is really good. I like how the Demon King always makes up some stupid ass excuse to not do anything. <laughs> um, give, quick, give us else? a note with a secret code. I can't. My daughter wrote it. <laughs> I can't give it away. It's going on the fridge. You fool. You think I'd let anyone else listen to this? You idiot. I've got nothing. Or... I'm out like this bottle of Gatorade. Didn't you go get another fucking drink? I sure did. <laughs> I got one here, and I got I one got here. I got some some water. Oh my God, this this flavor's kind of mid. Good. It's all right. Is it? It's a fine is it flavor. Light blue or is it dark blue? Glacier light freeze, blue. light blue. Oh, I like glacier freeze. I don't like dark blue. Dark blue. I used gross. to really like, I like it, but I think either. after having it so much, it has it's it's fading. Orange. Mm -hmm. I'm I'm fucking with orange crazy. I love orange. 
Orange is fine. I'm not a big orange guy. I like I, white. The gl- uh, that's the best. One. Cherry, cherry it's glacier like rush or something. Cherry. Yeah, yeah, that one's dude, really that's good. The best one. I love that's, that one. That's a top tier Gatorade. If I ever yeah, see that in the three. store, I cop it. Mm-hmm. Top tier Gator flavor. Top tier Gator. Well, I guess that's it for tonight's episode of the Hello Hard Podcast. If anybody found anything interesting, funny, or informative, make sure to leave a comment down below. Hit that like button, subscribe, and hit the bell so you're up to date on every single Hello Hard Podcast when it airs. Um, you guys can follow us on TikTok too. I've been posting a lot of shit on TikTok lately. Um, I think it's just Hello Harm Official. You guys can just follow it there if you are so inclined. Um, that's really it. We'll see you guys next week on the Hello Harm Podcast. Oh, show yeah. Marine, please marry no, me. Oh, yeah, Alex. Yeah, we can't. It's we're not going to do that now. We gotta. What? <laughs> what? You forgot? What? Forgot what? to give Luke the key to say Osho Marine marry me. He did it because he's did. smart, but... I'm not smart, I know. Don't let that My happen. love okay. is real. Okay, mister, I have nothing. I'm working yeah, on it. Yeah, what's your thing now? I'm working on it. It's coming. <laughs> That's the worst thing. If you just make that your thing, it sucks. <laughs> it is. <laughs> <laughs>